So an insertion in Java is a bit of code that's used to test certain assumptions about the software's functionality. And in this case, an assumption that's believed to be true is called an assertion. Um, so programs generally will, you know, or frequently will contain some assumptions about data. For example, taking code. Um, if you have code that is intended to find the square root of a number, you may want to assert that that number is greater than or equal to zero. And if you end up with the square root of a negative value, um, you could have your code test to see if that assertion um, is, is triggered or not. So um, each assertion contains a Boolean expression, and it's one that you expect to be true when the assertion executes. So for example, if someone is depositing money, if you have a, a um, a, a program that receives and credits a deposit. Um, let's say that uh, in this case, we're looking at something where we assume the amount is greater than or equal to zero, and the balance is going to be balance plus whatever that new amount that gets added. Now, assertions are considered um, cheap to write in the sense that they don't take CPU time. So this code here that we're looking at, where it says assert that the amount is greater than zero, that code is not run unless assertions are enabled. So what does that look like, um, enabling it and disabling it? Um, let's take a look at two different scenarios, one where it's enabled and the other one where it's not. So this program here called Transact, we're going to try to run this. Um, well, we can do it a couple of different ways. We're gonna run it from the command line. So note here that at the top it says use dash EA or enable assertions. Um, if we want to actually have this line of code, line 11 actually run. So let's do this first. Let's change the view so you can see this a little bit better. Let's go to terminal theme. Let's mm, view terminal theme. It's light, dark. Editor theme. Let's make it night. OK, now let's go ahead and run this. Let's see what's in our directory, ls. And I see that there is a file called transact.java. So from the command line, I'm going to run it Java. C for compile, transact dot Java, and it should compile it. And what we have then is a new file. Let's see, transact class was just created. Um, so that's the correct one. I can tell by the timestamp. Now, if I want to run that file, transact class, I'll say Java transact. And I run this and it says attempting to deposit and it shows the amount, right? And it shows it as negative four. And it also says that um, when it's run, this assert never gets, uh, this line never gets run. So it says amount is valid and it is therefore accepting the money. And so it shows up as negative four. Now, if I change this so that I say Java, and this time I say enable the assertions with a dash EA, this time it will say um, uh, there's, an, there's an assertion error, and it will say that it happened in the transact.java file at line 11. So it says that we failed this assertion, and in fact, negative money was attempted to um, to get deposited. Now, I could also put a message in here, which even so it, it would probably be even more descriptive if I put a colon and I say negative money deposited. And so let's make that the message. So once again, let me go ahead and compile this uh, Java C for compile. And then let me hit the up arrow and java-ea, and this time when it runs it, you can see that the message is negative money deposited. 
So that line of code with the assertion at line 11, it's either run by using enable assertions or it's not run, like it's not run in this case. Now, in order for you to try this out on your own, I've set this up so that when you just click on this blue button that says compile code, it will, let's do that again, compile code and it runs um, and it tries to find the code, but it's expecting me to be in a different directory. So let's run it with this. Now it finds it and um, there's, there are no errors here. So I know that the code successfully compiled. If I wanted to see it not compiled, if I go back to line five maybe, and I get rid of the semicolon and then try to compile it, um, I get an error and it says um, it's expecting a semicolon. So I know that it's compiling it and I can just hit compile code, it runs it, and I can run it without assertions. And you'll see that there's Java, and then there's the directory, and it allows the negative four to go in. Now, if I run it with ins uh, assertions enabled, the java-ea, I'm expecting this to show up with a java-ea, and it does, and it says negative money deposited. Um, so there's another, that's, that, um, that's another um, way of running this code without having to go to um, your compiler or, your, or rather your IDE um, or go outside of this framework here, this Codio framework. So that's how that's how assertions work, and um, and you also have that additional option of providing a message um, when that assertion is triggered, and it's also a way of documenting your um, your code and, and your assumptions about that code. And probably one of the main reasons um, that that is considered is when we look at um, textbook code, for example, let's say we go and look at merge sort and look at how this particular author presents um, merge and we look at the code, the example code, notice that um, the algorithm to do the sort receives two different arrays of comparable items um, and it also um, ensures that our assumption about it being sorted is, is, you know, we want to run our code and check our code, we make changes. This allows us to check rather easily whether or not this post condition still holds. Um, and so we can determine whether or not it's um, actually sorted. Um, and if it's not, then, then maybe we've broken something in our code. So it allows us to, uh, to easily test our code. And when it comes to it being sorted or not, this method essentially looks to see if in the sequence of numbers, if each subsequent value is as large as or larger than the previous value. So that's an example of an assertion and how it might be used.